Hey, what is up everyone? So today we are going to be talking about this Pokemon card right here. And this card is actually part of a card set of five cards. Um, they're called the Munch promo cards. EV right here is just one of five. And I'm gonna kind of just tell you, you know, the history behind it, the story behind it, you know, why was it made and where you can get them. Here's the story. So back in 2018, around October 2018 until around January 2019, the Tokyo Metropolitan Art Museum was having an event. And pretty much what this event consisted of was them bringing in famous painter Edward Munch's paintings to their museum and they went to showcase it to everybody. It was going to be the first time that they brought you know Edward Munch's paintings to that museum and you know Edward Munch that name probably does not sound familiar to you but his painting The Scream this painting right here that is very familiar you know everyone in their mom can recognize that painting you know it's a very famous painting like I'm sure you've seen it before but you probably don't know who the artist is but anyway this is the painting The Scream the artist is Edward Munch and this painting the actual painting was coming to Japan for the first time to be displayed at the Tokyo Metropolitan Art Museum. So it was going to be the first time it was displayed and it was going to be displayed from October 2018 until January 2019. So huge event, especially for Japan. Now to celebrate this event, you know, a bunch of brands and companies decided to partake and sell merchandise, you know, their own merchandise. And of course, Pokemon was one of those companies, you know, the Pokemon company in Japan, it was one of those companies that wanted to participate and sell their own merchandise, like a commemorative towards, you know, Edward Munch and his paintings so big event in japan that only ran for a few months at this museum and many brands wanted to you know promote their own product so pokemon what do they do they decided to sell some merchandise you know they sold like a bunch of merchandise and it was merchandise that was based off the painting the scream and, you know there was like stuffed animals there was phone cases you know postcards lots of cool little things that you could buy there at the museum just to celebrate you know partake in the event so this is where these cards come into play the munch promos there are five cards in total in the Munch promo set, Eevee, Rowlet, Psyduck, Mimikyu, and Pikachu. Five cards. How do you get these cards? Well, during that time, again, like I said, late 2018 to early 2019, these cards were being given out through a various situations, okay? So let me just explain, you know, like the various situations that people had to go through just to get these cards. All right, so the first three cards, Eevee, Rowlet, and Psyduck. Now, those three Pokemon, those three cards specifically were distributed throughout Japan, throughout the Pokemon centers in Japan. Now, there's many Pokemon centers in Japan and those three cards were given out at those Pokemon centers. So what did you have to do to get out one of these cards? Well all you had to do was go to a Pokemon center during that time period and buy like $10 worth of Pokemon cards. You know like two or three packs and you will pay for your cards and they'll tell you like hey which one do you want? Do you want Eevee? Do you want Rowlet or do you want Psyduck? And they just gave it to you. You walked away with a free card and that's it man. That's all you had to do was shop at the Pokemon center during that time frame. Now these cards were the easiest to get. Why? Because anyone who was at the Pokemon Center in Japan during that time, you know, they all got a free card as long as you bought Pokemon cards. And pretty much people that didn't want the card or didn't know about the card, they ended up getting one, you know, like just imagine, you know, like Timmy's little grandma going to the Pokemon Center to buy some souvenirs for little Timmy back at home, picks up like a pack or two for little Timmy and she goes to pay. And then the cashier is like, oh, a free card. Here you go in your face. Lots of people who didn't know about Pokemon, you know, like parents who were bringing back souvenirs or friends that were bringing back souvenirs from Japan, they got that card. People who did like Pokemon, you got the card. As long as you went to the Pokemon Center and bought some cards, you got the card. So anyone who visited any Pokemon Center throughout Japan during that time period and bought some Pokemon cards, you got a free card. Bam, just like that, in your face. So that is how you got Eevee, Rowlet, and Psyduck. You know, they were the easiest cards to get. A lot of people got them easiest, and they are the cheapest to buy. Right now, on eBay, mid-2023, they are selling for about, I want to say, about a 150 a piece. 150 to 200. You know, it varies. Like, on the lower end, 100. On the higher end, like 200 for the cheapest ones. Last year, they were selling for like under 100. You don't want to say like between 80 and 100, but now they're selling, you know, up to 200. So now let's talk about the second most expensive one, which is the Pikachu. And that is the fourth card, all right? There's only five cards in total. Pikachu is the fourth card, all right? So Pikachu is the second most expensive card. And the reason for that is, is because Pikachu was only given out at the museum. So you actually had to go to the museum, visit it, and they'll give you a free Pikachu. And you had to visit the museum during Pokemon week. And Pokemon week was from like December 10th to the 17th around that time frame I think so it was only for a week and if you visited the Tokyo Metropolitan Art Museum during that week you would get a free Pikachu all you had to do was show up show up to the museum during that week boom free Pikachu in your face whatever so Pikachu was the second hardest to get why is that because unlike the original promos which are throughout Japan and the Pokemon centers the Pikachu promo 
was only at the museum, only at that location. So you had to be at the museum to get your Pikachu. People who visited the museum during that week, you know, not all of them were Pokemon fans. People who weren't Pokemon fans showed up to the museum, got a free card, and they're like, I don't know what this is, but I'll take it. You know, I'll give it to my grandchild or my son or something. So fans, non-fans, people who didn't care about Pokemon, people who cared about Pokemon, you know, they showed up to the museum, got the free Pikachu card, whatever, you know, move on, cool. So getting that Pikachu card was a little bit more difficult because you actually had to travel to the museum at that city during that specific time to get the card, which makes it very limited and a little bit more expensive. And so the Pikachu card, now the Pikachu card last year was going for like, I wanna say around minimum 500 up to 600. Now it's going for like 700 to like 900. So it's going up in price, you know, it's getting more expensive. So the Pikachu is the second more expensive. And now the most expensive card in the set, the number five card is Mimikyu. Now, why is this card so expensive? It is, I'll tell you guys right now that this card is like about $3,000 plus. If you want this card right now, right now in 2023, be willing to spend $3,000 plus. So why is this card so expensive? Okay, so Mimikyu was sold, I wanna say it was like a little binder thing, a little postcard thing. It was sold with like a little postcard binder thing. I forgot what it was, what it was exactly, but it was sold at the art museum at the gift shop. And that's how you got Mimikyu. Another way that, that people got it was through the Pokemon Center online, but that was very, very, very limited. So, I mean, that's kind of hard, all right? The main way you would get it is you had to go to the art museum. Again, you had to go to the art museum. And when you went to the art museum, you had to visit the art museum gift shop. And then inside the gift shop, you had to go find the Mimikyu portfolio looking thing and buy that. And that is how you got the Mimikyu card. So let me tell you how, how crazy that is, all right? People, like I said, people who went to the Pokemon Center throughout Japan, you know, they didn't have to be fans of Pokemon or they only had to get, care about Pokemon a little bit, but they got the card. People who visited the museum during the, the Munch campaign, you know, during that Pokemon week, everybody and their mom who visited that week got a Pikachu. I mean, it was a little bit more difficult because you had to go to the museum. As long as you were there during that week, the Pokemon week, you got the card. Mimikyu is you had to go to the museum, go to the gift shop, find the gift shop, find the card, the portfolio card that, that contained the card, buy it, and that's how you got it, right? So people who weren't fans of Pokemon and visited the museum, again, like I said, they got the Pikachu, but how many fans of Pokemon actually visited the museum? Pretty much you had to be a fan of Pokemon or know about Pokemon, visit the museum, go actually visit the gift shop and then find this card. So Mimikyu, nobody really got that card. There wasn't that many people that got that card. I mean, it was kind of like, just like off to the side, you know, like a lot of people ignored it. A lot of people didn't really pay attention to it. So as you can imagine, that is the most difficult card to get because there wasn't that many, not many people bought them and not many people paid attention to them. And unlike the rest of the four cards, unlike EB, Rowlet, Psyduck, and Pikachu, they were not handed out. They weren't giving them out to everybody. You know, they weren't just like, here you go, here you go, here you go. Mimikyu was the only card they had to buy at the gift shop at that museum, which makes it the most expensive card in the set. Minimum, as of now, $3,000 up to like 10,000 plus, you know, like if you want like a PSA 10. So yeah, it is insane. It's insane. It's just insane just to think about. So anyway, these cards, as you can see, the artwork is just all based off Edward Munch's famous painting, The Scream. It is very unique because it's a collaboration between Pokemon and Edward Munch, aka the Munch promos, the, the Pokemon Munch promos. It is a collaboration, which is one of the reasons why these cards are expensive. But the thing is, even though they're expensive now, I do expect them to go way up in price in the future, just because it is a historical event. It sounds really nerdy to say about a Pokemon card, but it is a historical event where the Munch paintings came to Japan during a limited period of time, and the Munch promos were given out during that period of time, only in Japan. Even though this card is worth like about 150 bucks, I think as potential, these cards, even the cheapest ones, even the cheapest ones, I think they have a lot of potential to go up in price by a lot. Picking one up right now, I wouldn't blame you if you paid like 100, 200 bucks for one of these, you know. They are cool cards, they're very unique, and like I said, they're like historical, so they're really cool to have, in my opinion, I think might be worth picking up. But yeah, I mean, that's all the information I have about these cards. Um, I think I answered all the questions, right? If you do have any more questions about these cards, you know, let me know, I'll drop a comment, but I think I did answer everything. But yeah, anyway, um, thanks for watching, you know, I appreciate it. And if you do wanna see more videos like this, you know, talking about Pokemon cards or whatever, man, Pokemon in general, you know, let me know. But yeah, um, thanks for watching again, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.